Y'all know I lost my hair. It's a freak accident. But that's cool because it allowed me to meet you. Hey. Thank you. Subbies. What's up? And I like that y'all share stuff in the comments because we're a community. If, if we don't talk about it, nobody else is. So I got some more research that we need to talk about. You may know already, but I just need to share. Okay. Your hair is growing early. I mean, every day. Our hair grows every day day which is so awesome but if you trying to speed it up a little bit if you're just trying to put a little something in there to get it to grow a little faster get your scalp help health on point i got you there are actually five natural treatments that i found that will beat out any day the fda's approved drug for hair growth did y'all know that the fda has one particular drug that they have approved for years for hair growth. And it's been for men for a long time. If you've ever heard of Rogaine or Minoxidil, men have their own hair problems. We over here, they over there. <laughs> you know, because they have receding hairlines, bald spot in the back. You know, it starts kind of early, maybe like late 20s. You'd be like, ooh, you know, you, now they gluing it on. It's, <laughs> my mom called me, I'm Deacon James. I need to give you his number because uh, he, he said he watched your video on the fenugreek. And he wanted to know, because he has a ball spot. But anyway, men have been using Rogaine and Minoxidil for years. It kind of does help women, but they were having a hard time marketing it to women. Not anymore. Because I don't know if you've seen, I haven't seen it, but J-Lo has this amazing product where she was like, it's called Hidden Hers. And if you've ever had thin hair, which, I mean, she might be right. Because we thin out, we have hormonal issues, the change of life, menopause, PCOS, fibroids, all kind of stuff. The, the what we eat, stress, you know, braids be too tight. Y'all know I've seen a little girl. Um, she had to be maybe less than two years old. She was so cute. You know when your braids are so tight? I was like, oh, your hair is so cute. She was like. Um, thank you. <laughs> it was so sad, but pretty, but sad because she had box braids. Um, and oh, it was so tight. I was like, baby, by the fourth grade, you are not going to have any edges. But I mean, she was cute. Just thank you, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Because it was, let me stop. There are actually five natural treatments probably in your kitchen cabinet right now that you can just rub on your scalp and or take internally and you can have this luscious hair. The same, you know, results that you might get from this medication that the FDA has approved. I'm going to start with the one that I got in the backyard right now because, you know, a few years ago, I mean, I just got to put it out there that I won a family gardening contest. You know, I, I thought maybe we should garden, get granddad back out there. And now, you know, the garden look a little shaky right now. I would have gone out there to go get this, but I didn't want to because we have cicadas. That's a whole nother thing. I mean, if you don't know, cicadas live underground for 17 years. And they decided that 2021, they was going to come up because it was the end of the 17 years. At the end of 17 years, they come out of the ground and they're out and they're everywhere and they're dumb. One landed on my back. I tried not to freak out because I'm an adult. <laughs> but I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, because it landed on my back and it just took a ride with me. They have five eyes. I don't like looking at bugs with facial features. They're dumb. They're everywhere. They're loud. They're disgusting. And they're ruining our lives right now. So we inside. It's like an apocalypse. They're everywhere. So that's why I didn't go in the backyard. But let me tell you what it is. It's Rose Mary. If you don't know anything about rosemary, I know you done seen the baked chicken that's already prepared. They have lemon pepper. They might have rosemary or rosemary garlic. People cook with it. It's a wonderful garnish. Some people drink the tea. I knew that it was a flavor, but I had no idea of how amazing it is if you rub some rosemary on your scalp or you drink it. So reading the research, oh y'all, like they, they have um, animal studies using rosemary. Rosemary was outperforming Rogaine slash Minoxidil it did great um they had a human study for six months one group used the fda approved minoxidil and the other group they just used rosemary and of course they didn't see any significant difference both of them performed very very well however rosemary didn't give the side effects that minoxidil did especially with the irritated scalp or any of that minoxidil has some side effects it's a drug what it is but we have natural things so rosemary is the first one i was excited about like i said it's in my backyard i'm gonna post how you can make your own oil you know i'm sure you looked it up or heard about it you're part of the natural community so i will tell you rosemary is the first one moving on to the second one that i just blew my mind because i was like wait what licorice <laughs> okay 
I was first introduced to licorice, not Twizzlers or candy, licorice tea, because I was trying to figure out fibroids and PCOS. You know, a lot of suntan folk, we are really battling infertility, having female issues. I saw that licorice really helps with fibroids. So I just went and I started drinking the tea occasionally. You know, I wasn't as consistent. You know, that's the thing with us, but it's a very sweet tea. And I was like, dang. But licorice is amazing because they actually put it on skin. It was helping with eczema. I was like, oh. And then they let us know that licorice, when they studied it and they uh, put it up against minoxidil, it was a animal study. The licorice, within that span of time, performed twice as fast for hair growth than the FDA approved drug minoxidil. I said, you got to be kidding. And in the conclusion, the scientists were saying you would get uh, this very boost of antioxidants and scalp health and skin health from internally um, ingesting, whether drinking it as a tea, adding it as a, as a powder to something, or putting it on your scalp topically. I couldn't believe it. I was done. Twizzlers? Well, you know, Twizzlers is fake, but still, licorice root. Okay, so number three, um, this one, if you're big in Ayurvedic, is that how they say it? Medicines, Chinese medicines, homeopathic, allopathic, whatever. I, I, I found this to be very, very interesting because a lot of men jumped on this right away. And somebody told me, hey, you need to go check out Curly Proverbs because she talked about this. I was like, what? Yes, I think it's pronounced Bryn... It might be pronounced brain grow, I might be saying it wrong. So this is a particular plant. I think it's kind of like a part of the sunflower family. I was like, oh, okay, real big in India or like Arabic medicine. It's like, this is big, this is a thing. And of course they did the study. Of course they used the animals and again, it outperformed minoxidil. And I was like, what? So you could buy the powder of this particular plant and put it in oil and let it sit there and do your double oil boiling method and add it to your hair. It will outperform what is on the market currently, his, hers, Rogaine, Minoxidil. I couldn't believe it. I mean, if you've heard of these, please put it down in the comments because our comments be going on and I just really appreciate the comments because it starts, I mean, it starts a conversation and people read it because they want to know. We need to know these things. Y'all, ain't nobody gonna tell us but us. If it doesn't make a lot of money, I hate to say, they might not research it. I wish we had our own research facility to be able to kind of look up our own thing. Maybe I should look into that. Starting a nonprofit where we just have suntan folk or different scientists that are really interested in researching natural things. Because a lot of research I found was not done in American soil. Well, some of them were like, University of Mississippi, but most of it, they're doing it in India, a lot of areas in Asia, some areas in Africa, uh, you know, pharmaceutical and cosmetic companies are doing a lot of research on natural things so they can add them to their cosmetics. But, you know, we could just use them as their own. I mean, we can grow it in the backyard and we'll be straight with this beautiful skin and hair. Oh, okay, so that was number three. Number four, you already know, I'm champ. I have some right here. For number four, I drank a lot of it and the seeds are swell up. Now, this is probably like four tablespoons. I'll be doing the most sometimes. Now I gotta blend my seeds, probably put them on my face or hair, whatever. Fenugreek, let me tell you. Cause y'all know that I am pushing fenugreek cause that's my thing. Because that's what got my hair down all the way past my back, touch my waist, I could almost sit on it and I'm on my way back. Woo woo, you know I just be rocking the bun. I guess I might need to do a little something different with my hair. Until then, fenugreek also outperformed the FDA approved drug for hair growth. It's also part of the Ayurvedic medicine culture. Um, fenugreek is, they call it meti, big in India. You know, in India, those are some, they have some of the longest, thickest, prettiest, silkiest hair. You know, ours is coarse, it's gorgeous. You know, you'll be like, how is their hair? It's their diet, it's what they eat, all that curry. Um, they put fenugreek and turmeric in it, pomegranates what they eat and what they use. I remember this Indian lady was like, Americans are different. They treat their hair different from their skin. We treat our skin and hair the same. So in the morning, when they're rubbing oil on their skin, they also rub that same oil over their hair. And I was like, hmm, first of all, my hair's a little bit coarser than you, so I don't know if I could just do that easy transfer, but yes. We might be a little different in that aspect because I don't wash my hair every day, but you do, so I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just saying. But I'm excited that Methy made the list. Fenugreek was there. It is measured. Y'all already know that we'll take a pre-orders for that if you're not interested in making your own. But I showed you. I'm not going to show you how to make the oil if you're not the type of person where you want to take it internally. <laughs> because I did. But you can always put it on topically. It is amazing because your skin is just an organ and it absorbs everything. So you kind of need to think about what lotions you are putting on your skin. And I say that as a segue. I interview this trichologist. First of all, if you don't know who a, what a trichologist is, you really need to see this interview. A lot of times it's not a lot of times, all the times. It's so much deeper than your hair. Your hair is just the whistleblower for the most part, oh. right? So your hair is just your hair and your nails. Your hair is just saying something's going on and you need to get a handle on it. Oh. And then if we ignore it over and over again, it mm -hmm. speaks louder. I used to always tell my daughter when she was younger, listen to the whispers and you won't have to hear the scream. She told me all about how she started in hair. I'm talking about she has decades, decades of experience with natural hair. Her spa that she owns, a lot of the beauticians and co you know cosmetologists and estheticians that work there at her spa, they're all about this natural stuff and it's wonderful. She had a wealth of knowledge, I'm telling you, because she looked at my hair. You know, under that machine that she certified to have, and she was like, "Oh, I see a little inflammation." I'm like, "Well, um, what you mean?" Because <laughs> my hair is gorgeous. No, <laughs> she was like, "It's all inflamed." I see you have, you know, two or three hairs growing out of one follicle. That tells me that you need to start, you know, in adding more ginger and turmeric in your diet and drinking more water so that more of your pores will open. I was like, "What?" And I had a head full of hair at the time. I thought I was doing something. Who knew I needed to do better? So all that to say, boom, fenugreek was number four. Let's move on to that last one. I am so excited about this one because I found actually a lot of research that was doing in Africa, y'all. It was an oil blend. So this particular study that I looked at, they have four different ingredients in the oil. Uh, hibiscus, something called amla, brahmi, and you already know, fenugreek aka methy they tested each ingredient individually to see how powerful they were how fast they increased hair growth against you know minoxidil and each one of them performed just as well or out performed minoxidil alone by themselves then they tested it together as a blended oil with all four ingredients and baby you already know what happened you already know it did great listen using natural things is where we at i was excited to see it and drop it in the comments if you know about these oils if you're already ready to go if this is the thing you know i'm going to stick with my fenugreek because it's been working for me but in the future i'm definitely going to look up into these looking to blended oils like maybe adding something else that's a power pack because if you ordered from curly hair crisis before you already know that you got a free gift um a fenugreek oil and it had hibiscus in it because i know the properties of hibiscus you know i have tea i like tea i have a lot of different herbal teas but i just got to tell you i'm so excited that i found those things it's five things listen you could be speeding up your hair growth in the kitchen they're gonna be like wait why, why is your hair growing so fast <laughs> baby because i've just been putting i'm just giving to give it a little hell but that's okay oh i got to post a video i want you to see the words of wisdom from this trichologist she talked about all how healthy your skin and hair needs to be she has an amazing story of how she became to be and where she is listen if you have questions that you want to ask the trichologist I'm trying to bring these people to you we got to start a conversation because each one teach one nobody's gonna get out there and help us but ourselves it is what it is but there's a lot of natural things that can get us on our way and I'm excited to be discovering all this so if you know any oils that I might have missed if you know the research behind it drop it in the comments baby and you know curly hair crisis the fenugreek beauty line I'm excited about that but y'all Y'all, check this out. There's natural things that you could do. Your hair grows every day, every single day. Now, keeping your length is a different thing. You know, I'm about to go work out. Because ah, I'm part of the group that um, gained the COVID-10, 15, 20. I don't know. I'm part of that group, I must say. Because we learning. And I see ya.